What is your grandma's most scandalous story, romantic or not? Where do babies come from? Do you wear tidy whities or granny panties? Do guys care about how much hair I have down there? Oh Lord Jesus! <laughs> Hi everybody! So a few weeks ago I posted on my Instagram, I asked my followers to ask my grandma and I some questions. I kept it completely anonymous and we're doing that today. How do you feel? Why? Because I, I'm not a, a counselor. I don't give advice. Well, you're gonna give some today. So this, why did you wave again? This video is like a mixture of a general Q&A and then answering questions you're too afraid to ask. I got a lot of questions from my followers, but I would like to do some more. So I went ahead and I did some looking online for some good questions to ask her. Let's jump into the questions my followers asked you. This first question relates to both of us and it is, what is a secret you have kept from each other or do you even keep secrets? Oh, we don't keep secrets. I would say this, the secrets I keep from you, <laughs> the secrets I keep from you are like, if I ever do something that would be in your eyes sketchy. Like if I go somewhere alone, if I walk alone, I'm not gonna tell you that. You always do. Sometimes I'm like, I don't need to tell you that because you're gonna be upset. But other than that, I tell her everything. I tell her more than I tell my mom. This question was actually asked twice. What is your favorite memory together? One of my favorite memories is going to Taco Bell around the, the drive-thru about two or three times and exactly. asking for the discount. Yeah, you always do that. I mean, most recently I liked going to Disneyland with you. That was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I would say just like all of the funny times that uh, we had with Frank, uh, my grandpa. There's no other memories that I treasure than those. Okay, so this question has three parts to it, so we'll break it down. First part, what does grandma like to do with her free time all day? I like to watch YouTube. What do you like to watch? What, news, Spanish programs. I like to watch The Judge in Chile. I enjoy her very much. And I enjoy listening to old songs on there. What are some of her favorite treats? I think I can answer this for her. Cake? Oh, my weakness, I shouldn't be doing this. Eclairs. Oh. <laughs> and she likes hard, hard, hard gingerbread. Oh, yeah. You got it all right. What is one of your pet peeves? Wet clothes. To have wet clothes on. To have rain fall on me and have wet clothes. That's really one of my, I don't like that feeling. What was I Oh, not that I pee on myself. Uh, not that. But you know what I mean? Just to have wet clothes. <laughs> what was Isis like as a kid? <laughs> All over the place. She's very bound and determined. When she wants to do something, she's going to do it. You can't talk her out of it. Never. You can't talk her out of it. But that's more so me now. What was I like as a kid? Exactly. Yeah. The same. The way. same? How do you handle having a granddaughter as intense as Isis? And this one was from my mom. Isis and I have a very good relationship. We do. Isis and I can communicate very well. And sometimes I tell her things and she does she does listen, she does reason, and she does try. <laughs> I like this question. What is your grandma's most scandalous story, romantic or not? I was pen pals with someone. When I first read this question, I thought that you should share this story. So I'm glad you also took it the same way. I was pen pals with someone, and he was a wonderful, wonderful person. I wrote to him for nine months, did, but didn't never meet. Never anything. Talked maybe twice on the phone or so because back then we didn't have any this internet thing and stuff. The first day I met him, I went with my friend to a restaurant and he had a little gift for me. It was Christmas time. He had a box and it was a pretty big box and he gave it to me and inside was a little box and inside was an engagement ring and he took the engagement ring out and asked me to marry him and I said yes. And so I married him like the month and a half after. So that was my scandalous story. What is your biggest mistake? I don't think I have any. I think that what happens in life, I wouldn't call them mistakes, I think they're learning experiences. That's a great way to look at things. I think they're learning experiences because sometimes out of those things that you think you've made a mistake in that, you've learned. And that's what life is about, learning every day. What makes you two so close? Because we have a lot in common. Like we have a very similar sense of humor. Oh, yeah. We have, I guess like, our form of communication is very similar. We go about most social situations in a similar way. Why do grandmas always smell good? Because they bake a lot. You, okay, <laughs> you do not bake a lot. No, I don't bake a lot, but I eat a lot of baked goods. You smell like the dollar store powder. What? Because you use that, you are constantly powdering yourself. You smell like Vicks. Oh, 
<laughs> Stop <laughs> in Goodwill. Oh jeez. I don't go there that often. But your wardrobe yeah, is like 100% thrifted. Thrift icon over here. Oh, I don't like new things. I don't believe in new things. I dread buying new things. You don't believe in new things. No, I don't. To me, I like the warmth and comfort of old. What's the way to win your heart? A, a simple act of kindness. Even a simple hello, you know what I mean? It depends, it depends. A smile, things that are not material. This Okay, I won't put that one. Oh my god! Oh, oh Lord Jesus! <laughs> Is life just working and going to bed every day forever? Because right now, that's all it feels like. I want to know, does the cycle ever end? Let me tell you, there's a lot in life. Just because you go to work every day and you come home every day and it seems the same, you got to stop. The first thing I do in the morning when I get up is I am thankful that I'm here and I have a chance to see a new day. I look out the window, I have my cats, I talk to my cats, and the days go by, I don't have a visitor. I have my cats, I'm my company. She has two cats, but it's terrified of cats. Oh, I'm terrified of cats, but that doesn't mean that I'm not gonna take care of them. I've become friendly with them, I've warmed up to them, I pet them, I never used to touch a cat. But they were Frank's cat, and they were homeless little cats, and we couldn't leave them. They didn't have any chips in them or anything. And so I took care of them, and I'm still taking care of them. Where do babies come from? Heaven. Those are all of the questions that I got from my followers, and now we're going to do these questions from hobbylark.com. What's the worst date you've ever been on? I have never been on a worst date. If you have a worst date, all you do is just Walk away. But do you, the first no, but you're not answering the question. Oh, yes, I am. Do you have any bad date experiences? Oh, yeah. And what happened? I just walked away. I just got away from them and went and hang out with other people. That's it. That's what you okay. do. You Moving, don't stay with let's some. Let's move on. Do you wear tidy whities or granny panties? Definitely granny panties. They're safer. They're more comfortable. But you safer. Yeah, they're safer because they don't fall off. You got those other... Dental floss one. That's not a tidy whitey though. The comparison here is tidy whitey or granny panty. Granny panty is the best. What's a tidy whitey? All white underwear. Oh no, no, no. I like the flowers. If you could change one thing about your body, what would it be? Oh, I'm gonna have a change. I'm gonna have my cataracts taken care of because my <laughs> vision is pretty cloudy. That's the only thing. I don't need nothing else to change. Who was your first kiss? Did you like it? I'm not gonna talk about it, but yes. Why are you going to talk about it? It was nice because those are things that oh, I don't like to talk about. So do people like to have their little secrets? You just ah, said ah, you did not keep secrets from well, me. Well, we don't keep secrets. From the time I knew you, that's what counts. Who are you jealous of? No one. I you knew could, you would say that. I you cannot you be jealous of anybody because you know what? There's no need to be jealous. That's a, not a healthy way to be, live life. Be thankful for what you have and be thankful for what somebody else has. You were gonna be stuck on a desert island and you can only bring five things. What are they? Cake, <laughs> my cats, my rosary, some clothes, and water. If you switch genders for the day, what would you do? I just wanna be me. Really. No, I that's wanna... not the question though. If you yeah. switch genders for the day. I wanna be me, I wanna be. No, but if you are stuck in a man's body. I had a dream about being stuck. I know, but you're stuck in a man's body for a day. Uh-huh. What would you do first? Sit and pray that I turn back to me. If you could only use one swear word for the rest of your life, which one would you choose? Is heck a swear word? No. Damn, damn. What? That's no, that's yeah. not true. You that's could... a damn word. Oh, oh, because oh, I was that witch. What was your most embarrassing moment in public? Oh, the day that I went to clean the church it was in the 60s and we wore half slips. I was home, so I had taken a bath and I started to do things around the house and do my hair and all this and that. Then we were going to church, so I decided to get dressed. I put on the half slip, but I guess I had two on. I was rushing because we were almost late. And on my way to church, my slip fell off. Yeah, that was embarrassing. So people like saw? No, just me and my friend, we were dying. I don't know who else saw, I wasn't busy God. looking around. But I said, oh, excuse me, I dropped my slip. And so I took my slip and, oh, I hated those half slips. That's when I started wearing the one slip. All right, for the last section of this video, we are doing girly advice. Not good at it. Pads or tampons? Pads. Why? They're safer. I do not believe in putting a tube up a person. <laughs> I do not believe in that. I'm sorry. What are red flags and how do I catch them? Red flags are signs in a situation. Little signs that tell you, watch out, watch out, watch out. You gotta put your brakes on and say, wait a minute. This is 
not right, when you feel it's not right, when too many negative things happen to you in the relationship or in life, those are red flags. Do you guys care about how much hair I have down there? <laughs> Do they? Do they care? I don't think they give a heck. <laughs> I don't think they give a <laughs> Really? That's a terrible question to ask me. No, it's not. That's do you have any advice for shaving? You're gonna cut yourself one day and you can't wear a band-aid. You're gonna have to wear a pad. Okay, let's go, <laughs> next question. What age should I lose my virginity? 30. 30? 30 Why 30? 20. 30 or 20, okay. Mm -hmm. let's... 30, but 21, I think, 21. I think with, I, I think, <sighs> it's up to the individual themselves. Or the genes, and I hate to answer these questions. The question here is actually, do you use birth control? Does it affect your periods? But I'm gonna rephrase that to your opinion on birth control. I think it's up to the individual. I think that it's a personal decision. It's up to the individual. That's what I think. It's a good answer. And the last question of this entire video, how do I get over somebody I liked, but they didn't like me? Leave their if they didn't like you, don't waste your time and your energy on someone who doesn't like you. There'll be somebody in the future who will like you, who will care for you, who will take you. You know when a person doesn't like you. Move on. You know, that happens to people. But there's always someone out there who will appreciate you, take care of you, and don't think that's the end of the world. Or that's the person you love and you're dying for them. Uh-uh, life goes on. Well, that is the end of our video. Thank you so much if you watched all of it. And thank you to Grandma for answering all of the questions today. And I'm sorry I didn't answer it the way some of you would hear it because this is my first time being put on the spot here. Like this video if you enjoyed it and dislike it if you didn't enjoy it. Subscribe for more videos. Don't you think they should subscribe? I think they should subscribe. And as always, have, have a magical, magical day. day.